Getting to the gym isn't working and your home bike is gathering dust, you may want to try an all-in-one home gym system from X3. The X3 bar promises a tech-assisted full-body workout in just three pieces with three times the force. Joining us with a live demonstration is the creator, Dr. John Jaquish. Good morning, Dr. J. Thanks. Thanks, Kirk Lord. Thanks for being yeah. here. Yeah. So happy to be here. So what makes the X3 different from other workout systems? So when you look at biomechanics of the human body, you're much stronger in what's called the stronger range than you are in the weaker range. That's why we call them that. So uh, about sevenfold difference from here to here. So once you know that, why would you ever lift a weight? So what we need is a weight that is accommodating. So as we push away from ourselves or whatever the exercise is, you go into the more lengthened position uh, of the muscle, like you want more force mm -hmm. and then well, I should say when the shorter position of the muscle, the more lengthened position of the muscle, like when I'm coming back in a chest press, when my pectoral is stretched, you want less force, but you want to make sure the force is there. So one of the problems with band training okay. is you don't get enough force at the top. You'll see people trying to train and, you know, they can do hundreds of repetitions and nothing's really happening. And we've all seen people at the gym doing yeah. that. The other problem is at the bottom in the lengthened position, there's no tension. Okay. So you want to make sure there's tension there. And the way the way this system works, we fix both those problems. Uh, so like we're gonna Kirk's gonna demonstrate a chest press right now. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're getting right into it. Go so, Kirky. Go so Kirky. You're gonna, you're gonna look you're like gonna him by the end of it. Yourself. You're gonna look like Dr. J soon. That's right. Yes. <clears throat> you gotta and and what well, I tell you, to you eat. know, while well, you're getting Kirk situated, can you just tell us how the app supports the workout? Because we have a big uh, so, yeah. screenshot of it that we'll put up on the screen. Yeah, we were so go ahead earlier. and adjust your hand so that you're really driving with the radius and ulna. Okay. So you don't, not like this, pushing straight away. Form, yeah. form, Kirk, yep. form. Nope. Push. Go ahead. <laughs> like that. Really good. Well, harder, you need to extend harder. the arms all the way. Is it too heavy for you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> Let me let me jump in here. here. It's let me a nice course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so here, I'll, I'll I'll demo this one just because oh, okay. we're all set up for it. All right, let's see it. Um, so you can see here I am at the bottom. All right. So just a little bit of tension. I'm in the stretched position. All right. So I'm at 85 pounds, and as I push away from myself, wow. it ends up being like okay, 270 so the pounds. App, right? right. It's showing in the app. Right. Doing and so as I'm pushing away, you can see. So that's. At and the that's end, exactly 260 what you're saying. pounds? Right. Well, at the top, it's 260. But at the bottom, it's, you know, 75. But let's say I do however many repetitions I do, and this is the important part. Okay. This is so you stimulate the most strength and the most size growth. You want to shorten the reps. So my last couple repetitions are maybe only from 175 pounds, but I'm completely exhausted. I can see why so, you would be that right. a lot of weight. So I do just those shortened repetitions. They're called lengthened partials. Okay. And they are shown in research to be the most anabolic and the most, uh, you know, that are going to be driving of muscular growth. So you're getting the most bang for your buck. Let's talk about the overhead press, and I'm going to demo this one. All right. If I yeah, don't do well, see. hopefully my shoes distract you. Let's with their see how brightness. this goes, Lauren. Okay, Kurt. Let's <laughs> see how we do. <laughs> see how easy it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. This is a contraption that you're getting all set up. And the thing that I think would and for like the novice like myself, the the movement where you really feel it. Okay. Yes, Kirk. As is right. No, the moment where. All right. Where, stand you, up. No, you want oh. to bring the bar up. So bend the knees. Okay. Bring the bar up to your chin. Okay. And now stand up. And I'll push it over your head. Very slow oh. and controlled. Very slow and controlled. Look, Great. Nice. So now all the way down to your chin. Back up. So at the max portion, 93 pounds. When she comes to the bottom. Breathe. Go breathe. ahead. Go to the bottom. <laughs> Go, so it's like 77 pounds. Not bad. So you wouldn't be able to train with 90 no. pounds from oh here. Oh, my gosh. I can train with five pounds right. of weight. Right. Right. So yeah. Yeah, really very cool. accommodating. And that's that's the purpose of variable resistance exercise. Now, I work with NFL players. I work with NBA Woo! players. Uh, all kinds of professional athletes. Olympians use this. Um, it's very effective. It's also very safe on joints. See, no matter what your experience with weights are, 
you can pull this off without a lot of risk of injury. Well, that's amazing. All yeah. right. How about the bicep curl, Kirk? Yeah. Kirk turn. Kirk, Kirk can turn. demonstrate the bicep curl. Why don't you jump in here? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm actually going to switch the... Uh, yeah. Hang on a second. I like your workout face, Kirk. And, Hold you know, I don't know if we've actually talked about the... <laughs> the uh, so, both feet on the platform. Okay. To keep that from happening. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm your worst student here. All right. So far, you're right. <laughs> okay. 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 A keep the elbows did, back. It's still good. Yeah. yeah. Now drag the bar up your chest. Right. So you keep the bicep tight the entire time. Perfect. So you're 50 <laughs> right, at the top. Work. You know, more like 40, you know, 40 at the bottom. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Now, of course, as I mentioned, the diminishing range is super important. So as you begin to go to fatigue, the repetitions get shorter and shorter mm -hmm. so that... And this makes it just more impactful. Well, it, it makes it so when you do a regular set of weight training, yeah. you go to fatigue in one position. Okay. When you do this, you go to fatigue in maybe 10 different positions. Oh, wow. Because first you go to fatigue in the strongest position, uh -huh. then in the, and see, he's, it's just starting to happen. But look at Kirk, he's so, indefatigable. Right. He's, he's the got to the point happening. where he can't get to that stronger range. So now he's going to do length and partials nice. in those the weaker range of motion. All right, Dr. J, how about a deadlift? A deadlift, mm -hmm. okay. The lower body. We're going to end so, with that. You uh, you want to demo this, right? Yeah, yeah. Are sure. you good at deadlifts? I don't know what a deadlift is. I'll let you know when I <laughs> we're about to find, find out. out. All right. Okay. We have we have uh, you and know, less cool than thing, a minute. The cool thing about all of this is how this is all intertwined with the use of your abs. I agree. Yeah. So the reps, the pounds. Yeah. Now there is a version without <laughs> the the electronic portion. Okay. So you're gonna whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, stand, so stand completely on the bottom of the okay. platform. Okay. Now arch the back. Posture. Pull your shoulder blades together. Pinch my thumb with your shoulder blades. Okay. Now slow and controlled manner. Stand up. Okay. So that's 110 pounds at the top. And then wow. I squat again. Yeah. Just come down. Woo! Good. Slow and steady. So it's interesting, you can see it's like 10 pounds down here, and as she goes yeah. further, we're at like 110 pounds. Right. All right, well, this was awesome. Thanks for the workout, Dr. J. This is yeah. a wonderful cool system. For more information on Dr. J and the X3 bar workout, go to J <laughs> jquishbiomedical.com. You can also go to Dr. Jquish at Instagram. And I highly recommend this is cool. Yeah, is this is what you do, Dr. J? This is how you look, how muscular? Do. This yeah. is all you do? Okay, well, you're yeah, a good athlete. Yeah, same with the NFL, NBA players, uh, some of the bodybuilders I work with. That's it. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you so much.